Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. Today we're going to be doing a little day in the life. I'm going to take you through everything that I'm up to today. We're going to do some plant care. We're going to do just some regular living. It's actually already 10.38 this morning, so I've been up for a while. I did a couple hours worth of um, editing and just work on my laptop, like emails and stuff like that. I also had a premiere for one of my videos this morning, which is always really fun because I get to chat with you guys in the little like live chat thing. So love that. Great start to my day. And the sun is creeping in as well. It's currently partly cloudy, so I'm getting moments of sunshine and then it kind of goes away, but you know what? I'll take it. It's better than the full-on gloominess. So yeah, that's where we're at. Look at how cute the monkey is. Hello. Hello, beautiful. Um, anyways, right now I'm actually just going to clean up a little bit. There's just a little bit of tidying to be done. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> I always make my couch, but I'm telling you, later on today this is gonna be destroyed because Olive always pulls everything down and makes herself a little nest in there. Oh my gosh, look at where she's gone now. <laughs> We're gonna make my bed in a bit, but I'll leave her there for now. I water my moss poles every second morning and I did it yesterday, so they're not due to be watered today, which honestly, I really like watering them now. Like I look forward to it. I feel like before it was kind of a chore, but now I'm in a really good routine of doing it. So the days that I don't have to water it, I'm kind of like, oh, okay. <laughs> Especially now that I'm getting a lot of new growth and stuff. It's just, yeah, it's fun to take care of them. I do go around and admire them though, of course. I have been watching this one like a hawk because I'm so excited to see this new leaf come in. This is my philodendron narrow and it's rooted in here so well. You can see the roots coming out the top, which is crazy. Like they're all the way down in here. Anyways, I feel like this new leaf is gonna be really big. So every day I've been checking on it. I watered this last night. So um, I'm expecting that new leaf to come out within the next couple of days. I've also moved my Begonia Thurstonii down here in front of my plant spectrum light because, I don't know, it used to be there, but it was just really, I could tell it really wanted more light, so I moved it here and it's looking amazing. Speaking of light though, I've moved my Splendid up forward because I wanted it to be closer to the light as well, but I think I kind of want to move that clamp light or clamp lamp thing, whatever. I kind of want to move it and clamp it somewhere on that thing like in this area i don't know if i'll be able to clamp it like on the edge here or something but i kind of want to experiment with giving my splendid even more light i don't know it's just an idea i was having because as we go into spring i'm not as worried about this plant wall and it would be kind of nice to not have that light up there because it will just look better so i think i'm just going to experiment with taking it down so let's do that right now
Okay, I think I'm happy with this for now. I can always move it around, you know? But um, I'm just really focused on trying to get my philodendron splendid to grow right now. It's doing pretty well, but I just want to give it, you know, all the help I can. It has a new leaf coming in on the lower vine, and it also has a new leaf that's just started emerging from the taller vine as well. I think it's going to be really happy with the extra light there. These clamp grow lights actually work pretty well. You just need to have them really close to the plant. So I have three of them. Pretty much those three are facing the Splendid. Also the Freideck or the Michlisiana is going to get some of that light as well. And then I have one facing my Philodendron Tortum because I thought, why not? I might as well just um, give that one a little light boost as well. So we'll see how this goes. This is what the plant wall looks like now. Oh my gosh, it looks so good without that light up there. Like how beautiful is that? During the spring and fall is when this wall gets the most light because the sun is just like at the perfect height in the sky. So it's a good time for me to remove the grow light and to kind of trial having it somewhere else. So we'll see how this goes, but right now really happy with it. I just posted an Instagram story about my new video that went live this morning. I try to post on there when I upload a video onto YouTube um, just to let everyone know. And I've really been trying to post on my Instagram story more in general because I can definitely neglect that. I'm trying to post every day. It can be, it can be hard sometimes just to be like posting everywhere on multiple platforms with like different types of content and different like forms of content. Um, it gets to be a lot, but I posted that and I also posted a little video of the plant wall now without the light on so So that's done. I'll probably post on my story more a little bit later But I think that's gonna be good for this morning if you watch my Instagram stories Let me know what you like to see the most on there Like do you like to just see update like behind the scenes of my daily life like what I'm up to or do you just like to see like plant updates? Let me know leave a comment. I'd be so curious Okay, I actually just made my bed quickly and she's already in her nesty. Look at you. Y'all know how obsessed I am with my whole bed setup, nightstand situation. I take my sleeping arrangements very seriously. Which is why I'm so excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Marlo. Marlo is a pillow brand designed to help you get better sleep, which I am all about. I love anything that is going to make me more cozy or comfortable or increase my sleep quality. So when they reached out to me, I was stoked because I had just been thinking how I needed to upgrade. I had two pillows that were just like super thin, flimsy, honestly not comfortable at all that I've been wanting to upgrade. So now I've replaced those ones with Marlowe pillows and oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So let me show you what's so cool about these. First of all, they're made with cooling infused foam, which is perfect for me because I do tend to sleep hot, especially having Olive in the bed with me. The second thing that's really cool about these is that they're actually adjustable by zippers. They have one on each side and if you unzip, then that's going to make your pillow more fluffy. So I'm going to unzip both sides because I think that that's how I prefer it. That's how I have my other one set. And look at that. It just like completely like fluffs it up. What's really nice about this is that there's other adjustable pillows on the market, but you have to insert and remove the stuffing. This is just like such a quick and easy and mess free way to do it. So I just think that that is so cool. Like look how fluffy and comfortable this looks. Marlo is currently running their sleep week sale where you can get up to 30% off. Plus you can combine it with a bonus 20% off if you use my link, which will be down below in the description box. It is a limited time offer, so make sure you go check it out if you're interested. Thank you so much to Marlo for sponsoring this video. Okay, she really wants to go out for a WAOK, so I think that that's what we're going to be doing next. And then, <clears throat> and then I need to run to the post office once we get home. So that's going to be the plan for the next hour or so. Okay, we just got in from our walk. It was actually a lot colder than I thought it was gonna be. Like my hands are freaking freezing right now, but the sun was out, so yeah, it was very nice. Just a little, a little brisk. Now I think I'm just gonna throw together a quick little soup here for lunch. Um, I don't have all the ingredients that I normally, oh, I just noticed that I have something else in the cupboard that I kind of want my vegan mac um but i think i'm gonna stick with my soup idea here so it's just gonna be like a coconut miso 
ramen situation but like I said I don't have a lot of the ingredients normally I put like broccoli and um, mushrooms I don't have any ginger either so I'm just kind of working with what I have um, I'm gonna be using some of these onions I do have tofu and I do have some noodles as well udon noodles absolutely delicious I also have some leftover bok choy from when I made a stir fry last week, so I might as well just throw it in, you know? I'd rather use things up than waste them. I really wish I had mushrooms because that's what makes this soup like really, really good. So excited to eat my soup. It's too hot right now. I'm going to let it cool a little bit, but um, yeah, I think it's going to be good. Even though I just kind of throw things in and eyeball it, this soup, I make different variations of it and it always turns out delicious. All right, we are on our way to the post office to pick up a couple of packages. I actually already tried to leave once and then I realized that I forgot the little notice things that I need to bring. So I went back, grabbed those. We're heading out round two. Um, I think that the items might be planty, which is why I'm excited to pick them up. So we'll unbox them together if they are. I mean, whatever it is, we can unbox it together. But I think that I chose the worst time to head out to do this. Um, I'm currently sitting in construction traffic because there's this big construction thing with um, <clears throat> decently long waits on, <clears throat> on the road that I need to get through to go pretty much anywhere. So I'm just waiting in line for my lane to be able to go through. Um, and on top of that, it's also school pickup time, which I need to drive through as well to get to my house. I think I'm gonna be hitting that on my way back. So I might be sitting in another lineup to get home. Luckily, we're not in a rush. Um, well, I do have stuff to do tonight. We're gonna do plant chores, plant care when we get back. I'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon probably doing that. Um, and then tonight I'm gonna edit and I also need to start um, like my tax prep very fun literally my least favorite thing to do ever so um i do want to get that started tonight but i'm not in a rush right now i'm just gonna enjoy the nice sunny afternoon and we will we will relax with some plant care and hopefully some fun unboxings when i get home not to take such a dramatic turn in the freaking vlog but i'm just shaking up right now picked up my packages and I just got back into my car and I was pulling out of the parking lot and somebody hit me. I was waiting to turn right out of the parking lot and somebody was parked right here and I'm like looking waiting for cars to come and then he just like backed up right into me. Freaking scared the shit out of me. So now my car is dented on that side. I was just saying I chose the worst time to come and pick up this package and that has been confirmed. <laughs> Anyways, I'm fine. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna drive home now. Okay, made it home. I've calmed down a little bit, but ugh, that's just, yeah. Just like extra stress that 
I don't need right now. I can feel my eye twitching. <laughs> it's literally twitching. Oh my gosh. Hello, sweetheart. Hello. This is why mommy doesn't leave the house. This is why mommy doesn't leave the house. I think I'm honestly just going to relax for like 20 or 30 minutes. Um, and then I'm going to open one of the packages with you. And then we're going to do some plant stuff. But I just need to chill for a little bit before we do that. Okay, we're gonna start tackling the plant chores. I'm feeling a lot better, a lot more relaxed. I just needed to chill out for a few minutes. I had a nice cup of tea um, and it's actually rainbow hour in here right now. So that's cheered me up a little bit. It's also really nice that the days are getting longer. We just had daylight savings, um, like the time change happens. So the sun is staying out so much longer now. So I just feel like I have so much more time in the day, especially for filming and stuff because you know, I need the light to film. So I feel less crunched for time when it comes to that kind of stuff. But anyways, yeah, it's just so nice to have the sunshine. Um, so let me show you what we're gonna work on right now. Let's just look at these plants quickly actually because the sun is hitting them and like how beautiful. It's honestly one of my favorite things in the world just seeing the sun hit my plants like Oh, I've been obsessed with this painted lady leaf. This is the newest leaf and she's actually getting bigger again and just looking so vibrant and healthy. Like the variegation is stunning on that. Um, and the Splendid getting some sun as well on top of the grow light too. So he should be happy. My variegated burly marks. Anyways, what we're gonna work on right now is watering and just like providing any care that is necessary for all the plants in my Millsbow wide cabinet. I water by section, so I try to do some either every day or every second day. I'm really trying to do it every day because it's just so much easier to do a smaller amount of plants every day. And today, the plants that need to get watered are these ones. Last night, I did all the plants on top of the cabinet, and I also did along the windowsill there, including my Syngonium Albo, which really needs some help lately. Um, I think I might make like an Instagram reel or something for that, but... Um, yeah, today we're gonna to be watering in here. There's actually a couple of other just small planty tasks that I have in mind to do today as well, but I wanna make sure that everybody gets watered in here first. So this is gonna be my priority. So what I do um, is just remove like the shelves and bring them over to the sink, which is really easy. So I'm just gonna start bringing them over there. So here's the first batch that I'm gonna water. Um, they're actually not like too bone dry. Like I think some of them aren't even really gonna need water, but this one, this Anthurium, gosh, I just repotted it so that it wouldn't dry out so much. And it feels like it's already dried out too much. Look at the new leaf coming in. There, you can see better. Like, look at the leaves are kind of floppy. Ugh, it's so hard to keep on top of Anthurium, honestly. I try, like I really try. We need to make up some fertilizer water. I'm using my general hydroponics flora series again with CalMag because I haven't used it in a while. There's a couple of new, well not new, there's a couple of different fertilizers that I've been wanting to try recently and I've been so tempted to pick them up, especially for springtime. 
but I've told myself that I want to finish um, what I already have before I purchase new fertilizer that I don't really need because I already have some. Um, but these are like halfway done now, so I don't know when I'll use them up, but I don't know, I guess we'll find out. So I'm putting my CalMag first because that's the order it's supposed to go in. I've had people ask about using this for soil plants, which is, you know, what I'm doing, or just for like potting mix. I originally bought these fertilizers for my LECA and pond plants, but I since learned that you can use them for different types of substrate. So you can use them for soil, um, which is what I'm doing, obviously, and I think it works pretty well. For my flowering plants right now, I'm putting a little bit more of the flora bloom, like for my Hoya and things like that. And then um, for the rest of the plants, I'm putting a little bit less. So that's just kind of what I'm doing right now because I don't want my foliage plants to be focusing on blooms. That's not what I want. So the batch that I just mixed up is for my foliage plants. So I'm just gonna water all my philodendron and things like that with this batch. Can water my vanilla orchid. I still need to chop this. It's just like growing off the moss plank. I will get to that eventually. My Begonia amphioxus, which is growing like crazy. I'd like to repot this sometime soon. Just drop this, but it's fine. Um, and I'm gonna water it as well. It's pretty crunchy in there. Now my brandy is one that I definitely need to water. The moss pole is moist because like I said, I did my moss poles yesterday, but just like the pot needs to be watered. So I wanted to address my brandy right now as well. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a third little vine down there. Okay. Um, so you can see that these newer leaves came in kind of weird. I don't know why they're like that. They have like translucent bits. Um, so I think I'm going to cut off these leaves. Actually, you know what? I want to propagate this plant. So I think I'm going to cut, maybe, maybe I could cut here actually, and then I'll get a couple of cuttings from that one because I'll split it in two. So I think I might do that. And then this one, same thing. Oh, this one also has a new leaf coming in as well. Okay, let me grab my, my clippers. It looks like this one is going to come out damaged too, so I'm probably going to end up chopping that one off as well, but I'm just going to leave it for now and we'll see what happens. I've had to do this so much to this plant. Like, you can see the spots where I've chopped because it's just difficult to get nice leaves on this. Um, you have to be really on top of the watering and everything and keeping the moss pole moist. But I think it's worth it because the leaves are just so pretty. So I'm not like, you know, I don't get too fussed about it. I just chop when I have to and I kind of let it do its thing. We'll water my anthurium now. This is my, uh, what is this? Magnificum crystallinum or Crystallina Magnificum. So I did repot this recently and put sphagnum moss on top in hopes that that would help with keeping it watered. Okay, so this is my Epipremnum No ID. I put this on a moss pole not too long ago, like a couple of weeks ago, but I already see roots showing up on the edge here so I think it's okay. These leaves look a little droopy. I'm not sure what's up with that. If it's just like adjusting or what but this does not need to be watered. It's still moist so I'm just gonna leave it be. However I do want to secure this vine to the pole because you can see this new growth is just kind of like 
chillin and I want it to be attaching itself. So I have some dragonfly clips down here. I think I'll just add another one of those. There we go. Look at that. I'll just be keeping an eye on this one for whenever it dries out and needs to be watered. The orchid doesn't need to be watered either, honestly. Um, the soil is still quite moist. You can even kind of tell by the way it looks. Like you can see some condensation on the side of the pot. So I'm just going to leave that one too. This right here is my sad Discoria discolor. Um, I'm trying to root it in perlite. It honestly looked worse before, believe it or not. Like, it looks a little bit better now. So I am just crossing my fingers that this will root because I really want to grow this plant. Like, I wish it was not looking sad right now so that you could see how beautiful it is. Because, yeah, it is just, it's such a stunning plant. I'm thinking about putting it in a Ziploc. Maybe I'll do that. The humidity in that cabinet's not bad. It's like 75, but I think a Ziploc will be even better. I've saved a lot of plants with this method, so let's just hope that it works for me again. I'm gonna water my Polynera broguette with um, just my regular Wait, does this need to be watered? Yeah, I'm gonna water it, just with the fertilizer mix that I've made up. I'm gonna water most of my Hoyas with the extra Flora Bloom, but this one hasn't even grown for me since I got it, so I obviously don't want it to focus on blooming. I want it to focus just on growing. I'm not too sure what, what the holdup is with this one. It's very weird. Like, it looks healthy. The leaves seem healthy. The roots look healthy. So I don't know, it's just taking its time. Just gonna add some more water into my begonia gray feather propagation. Okay, my day is getting more and more chaotic by the hour. Just finished cleaning out the cabinet. I have all of the plants in the kitchen. I stopped talking to the camera and just tried to film some bits um, that I guess you would have just seen because I got a phone call, a stressful phone call that I have been dealing with. Well, I've been dealing with multiple phone calls for the past couple of hours now. It's now 7 p.m. and I still haven't gotten through watering this cabinet. So I'm just gonna try to fly through watering the rest of it. Oh my goodness, this has turned into such a stressful day. Normally my days aren't quite so chaotic. My ponytail has snapped, so this is falling out. I'm just gonna pull it out actually because I have a headache now. Oh my goodness. Olive's giving me the stink eye because I gave her her pill late, so she had to eat late. She just ate, and normally she eats like two hours ago. Oh my goodness. What a day. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish up with this watering. Oh my goodness.
Okay, just got all of the plants put back inside there. It looks so much better because I wiped it out and everything. <clears throat> These cabinets always just look a million times better once you actually give them a little clean. I also mounted my hygrometer just up at the top of the cabinet because it just kept falling over and stuff when it was on the floor. So I think that that looks much nicer anyways. So every single plant in here is good to go. So I'm just gonna close this up now. And that's it. That task is done and dusted. I was considering doing some more plant chores. I did have some more things that I wanted to do on my list. But honestly, I think that that's all I'm gonna do today. Um, I think that we should do, look at how crazy. I'm just like, like I said, things are getting more chaotic by the minute here. Um, I think that we should do a little unboxing, a couple packages that I have because I think that they are planty related. Okay, oh, feels nice to sit down for a second. All right, so the first package that I have. Okay, this has my address like all over it, but the first one I think is from Sacred Elements. Um, just a restock of my um, Sacred Leaf Tonic and Sacred Soil Tonic. I love the little things that come with their packages, like these little cards, so pretty, and the stickers, so cute. I love that. Okay, so the first thing is the Sacred Leaf Tonic. I use this to clean my leaves and help prevent or treat for pests. And then the second thing is the Sacred Soil Tonic. I love this stuff so much. I feel like I can see such a noticeable difference in my plants when I water for this. It's kind of like a soil conditioner, like it helps to um, strengthen the microbiome of the soil. It helps to boost the plant's immune system and just increase the vitality and the health of the plant in general. I've watered plants that haven't been growing for me with this and then after I do that they start growing so I've had a really good experience with this so far. I've been using both of these products on my plants for a while. The reason that I love these products so much is because they're made with organic food grade ingredients like herbs and things like that so it's so much better than spraying chemicals on your plants um, and supporting a small business. I just love their stuff so much so yeah very happy to be stocked up on these and like the big bottles too amazing i have another very special package but i'm actually going to save this for a different video you'll see me unbox it i'm so so excited about this so stay tuned because hopefully i'll be unboxing that soon i'm really looking forward to it all right i think i'm gonna quickly tidy my kitchen again and then honestly i think i'm going to run a bath because i just feel like i need that right now <laughs> This isn't turning out to be like the plantiest of days, but I hope that y'all still enjoyed. I'm just trying to keep it real, you know? This is what my day looks like today and there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, so since it's the end of the night, I'm gonna turn off all of the grow lights. I actually have a lot of them that aren't on timers now, so I just have to go around and click them all off every night and on every morning. First one is my cabinet. This is supposed to be a timer, but it's not working on my phone for some reason. Yeah, we're gonna go out in a second. She needs to go pee. I'm gonna take her out in a minute. Turn this one off. That's for that one up there. And then we'll go over here. Turn this one off, you have to click it four times. And then this one. These ones are all on timers, so they'll turn off on their own. And then in the bedroom, all the ones on timers have already turned off for the night in here. But these ones I need to turn off. Boom. And this one as well. Oh my gosh, I can smell my Hoya blooming. I can smell. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I literally can smell it. It smells so floral. Oh my gosh, they're not all open yet, but look at that. Oh wow, my Shepardi eye. How cute. They'll probably, the rest of them will probably open tomorrow. There's also another peduncle down here with blooms. These ones aren't open yet. How exciting. Oh, I love that so much. Anyways, moving over here. So turn this one off. Boom. 
And then the last one, I actually leave that on until I'm in bed because it's like my little bedside lamp, which I love so much. I'm honestly obsessed. So excited to crawl into my nice cozy bed. Speaking of my nice cozy bed, don't forget to check out Marlowe's Sleep Week Sale if you are interested in grabbing yourself a cozy pillow. There will be a link down below in the description box. Okay, I'm going to take all of out and then I'm gonna crawl into bed. It's only quarter to nine, but I'm just so exhausted. And I have to wake up tomorrow morning because I have to go out of town for something tomorrow morning. Okay, so I'm just gonna read my book for a little bit before I go to bed. Um, by the way, I love the stickers on the back of my e-reader. Right now I'm reading A Court of Mist and Fury, which is the second Court of Thorns and Roses book and it's getting pretty good. However, I'm only 48% of the way through and it's a long book, okay? I'm 48% of the way through and I only have three days left on my library hold or library like borrowing um, before this book needs to go back. I should actually check if I can extend it. I don't know if I can though. So I've been reading this for almost three weeks and I'm not even halfway through. So <sighs> it's because I've been so busy and I just haven't been spending a lot of time reading, which really sucks because I love reading, but it's pretty good and I'm really looking forward to reading more of it. So I'm probably gonna read for like 20 minutes right now and then I'm gonna go to sleep. So we're gonna call it a vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this casual day in my life video. If you're looking for more videos like this, I do have a vlog channel as well if you didn't know, which has a lot of content just like this. And now my battery is dying. That is my cue to go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. I would love to chat with you. Also, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. All right. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.